Grand Rapids and along the lakeshore, you're watching WZZM 13 News on the Road at 5.30. All right, you're all free to shop. Good evening and welcome to another special 13 on the road. I'm Tracy Forner. And I'm Kim Covington. We are live inside Rivertown Crossings Mall in Granville for the long-awaited, long-awaited grand opening. And here's a map to show you exactly where we are. As you can see, the mall is located just east of I-196 at the 44th Street Rivertown Parkway exit in southwestern Kent County. Now, our main priority here tonight is to give you a first peek at the completed project. What we're trying to do is show you everything that's here. They really ought to hang a sign yeah. that says, shoppers beware, it's because there are more than 120 stores and restaurants, just lots for people to do. And I tried to get into one of those restaurants today. There was a long line. I said, forget it. I'll try another day. <laughs> That's right. We, all the restaurants, all the stores had those lines yeah. this morning. We have a lot of ground to cover in the next half hour, including Wahava Mall was developed with the family in mind. We'll also visit one unique store run by local students called School Spirit. Plus, we'll address one major question on many minds. How is the parking and traffic situation? And first things first, and the first thing we have to do is we have to show you exactly how the mall is laid out. Now, there are three anchor stores on each half of the mall. Each of those are two stories high. On the upper level, in the center court, you'll find a food court, movie theater, and a carousel. And as you can see behind me, it is a beautiful carousel. There are lots of people on the carousel right now. Earlier this morning, there was a long line kind of wrapped around the upper level. Yep, yet another line, of course. Yeah. As you might imagine, the carousel is really the centerpiece mm -hmm. of the mall. Basically, it can hold 40 riders at a time. There are horses, there are rabbits, there are frogs, lots of things to ride. There's even a pig. The ride lasts about two minutes. It costs a buck, but it's not the only thing for families here to enjoy. For families at Rivertown Crossings, there's much more than just stores. At the Magic Tree House, they brought the outdoors indoor, where kids can climb upside down or crawl on all fours. They can run and play with flower buds, birds, bullfrogs, and bunnies. Your little sprouts can climb mushrooms and play with stumps that look funny. When they're tired from that, there's more to do. There are family-sized restrooms that hold more than a few. There's even pint-sized potties for what your child has to do. And these truly are rest areas for kicking back and relaxing, complete with comfy chairs for when the shopping's too taxing. Through the main hallway and to your left, enjoy your show. And if you're really in the mood to escape the rat race, try a movie, any movie. They play 20 at this place. And that sort of brings us back full circle, yeah. so to speak. Lots to do, lots more to do. That was just kind of a sampling. The mm -hmm. one thing I like, they have those oases all over the place. Mm -hmm. Seem to be a lot of husbands and fathers who have yeah. been left behind in the shopping spree. <laughs> I'm glad there are places for people to rest like that. Yeah. Lots of people are going to need rest. Lots of people running around. 200 to 215,000 shoppers expected in the first five days of the mall's opening. That's a lot of people. A lot of people who are going to need places to park. And our Christine Haberley has been following that story all day, and she continues our team coverage live from the parking lot. Christine? Hi, Kim. Hi, Tracy. Well, so far, so good out here, and that's because the mall has a pretty good plan in place. But the after-work traffic is just starting to arrive, and if we take a look at the tower cam, you can see there is a sea of cars out here and very few parking spaces left available. And finding one this morning was just as tricky. You go. They came by the car full. A steady stream of curious shoppers, all angling for the best parking. I think my arm's going to fall off. In the middle, Heath Elwin tried to smooth out the chaos. This morning it was crazy. There was traffic everywhere. You get a few drivers that just want to go where they want to go, no matter what you say. There are nearly 7,000 spaces available, but drivers worked to find an open spot before noon. Yeah, you get a good price for them now. So. As one car pulled out, another pulled right in. 
More than a few times, they got backed up, so some people had to walk a bit in the cold. You know, then you quick grab their spot if, if you got in the right line. Otherwise, they go past, you know, the lane and go to the next one. Other people took a guaranteed approach. Well, I just saw those people walking out, so I snatched their spot. Most drivers seem to follow directions just fine, but Heath says some have been in too much of a hurry. Some people weren't paying attention or weren't watching, and they've swerved in front of people. But roving mall security and the Granville police are on hand to help out. The biggest problem they've seen? We've had some lost kids and some lost cars, and that's about the extent of it. It's uh, been pretty mellow. And pretty mellow is just how they expect hope. I they want it to stay, but we'll see how it goes tonight when all the after work people really get here and this place becomes even more full. Tracy, Kim. All right. Thanks a lot, Christine. Well, granted, the roads around Granville were busy today, probably the busiest in West Michigan, but there are other busy roads we need to check. Yes, let's ask Susan Evangelist, who joins us live with 13 Traffic Time. Hi, Susan. Hi, back to you. And yes, we do have some problems out there. And if you're headed, let me show you exactly where, if you're headed out to the Cascade Township area. We have Cascade Road north of Burton, an accident with some power lines down. Police have been redirecting traffic around this scene. Also on the same map, you can see 36 right at Patterson, if you're headed to the airport. Port. You're going to have a little slow drive there as well. Taking a look downtown Grand Rapids, uh, we do have a pretty good one on the Ford Freeway. Not really too bad if you're headed on the westbound side. Eastbound seems a little heftier. And also if you're headed 131 through the S-curve and beyond, you're going to have kind of a lot of company moving on through with you all the way up to the I-96. Otherwise, looks pretty good. If you're headed out to Granville, we haven't heard of real major delays on the Ford westbound. But remember, between 28th Street and Chicago Drive, it's now a shift in that area. And Instead of uh, having one lane, it's open two lanes, but it's a shift. So expect a little hint of a delay there. I'm Susan Evangelista with WZZM 13 Traffic Time. See you later. All right. Thanks a lot, <laughs> okay. Susan. Thanks, and Susan. with the holiday shopping season just around the corner, many of us will spend, be spending a lot of time at malls around town. That's right. And this mall is the only one in the area with two levels. Now, Bill Steffen is very high class, but right now he's on the lower level. He has a look at our 13 on target forecast. Bill? Hey, it's Tracy, I'm with lots of my friends here, and are you guys all having a good time? Yeah! Hey, this is absolutely fantastic. You don't have to go to Chicago to find a mall like this now. It's right here in Granville. Rivertown Crossings is unbelievable. And I tell you, it was a pretty chilly start to the day today when folks were heading in here early this morning. Let's take a look and see if this cold air is going to be sticking around here. 37 degrees our present temperature. It's cold out here. But take a look at the wind chills with that strong northwest wind. Wind chills have been running about 15 to 25 here. Very, very cold. Grab your winter coat if you're going to be coming on down here during the evening hours. Our satellite picture shows lots of clouds here, courtesy of Lake Michigan, but they're going to be breaking up. I think we'll see skies become clear overnight tonight and look for lots of sunshine here during the day tomorrow. We had some snow earlier today. That's all gone east now, and you can see the snow coming off of Lake Huron. And it'll all move east. I think we'll stay dry here, not only for tomorrow, but for the next several days. Let's take a look then at the details of my forecast. We should be partly cloudy here overnight tonight. Skies will break up. Look for temperatures to make it all the way down around 28, maybe about 32 right at the immediate lakeshore. Outlook for tomorrow, breezy and warmer. Look at that. High temperatures back up into the mid-50s here. Maybe slightly cooler at the lake tomorrow. And the outlook here for the day on Thursday. Look for lots of sunshine, rather mild. Temperatures both Thursday and Friday. Look at the warm air by Friday afternoon up to about 62 degrees here in West Michigan. Hey, coming up, we're going to have Target Town. I want to remind everybody, if you're going to be right around, we'll be here until about 6.30, 7 o'clock. we got stickers to give out, right? we got some pencils. we got all kinds of goodies. You can register to win a prize from WZZM2. Come on down and see us here at Rivertown Crossings in Granville. All right, thanks a lot, Bill. Well, it's time to take a quick break. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we'll show you some of the other news of the day. And, of course, we'll have more live coverage from Rivertown Crossings. But first, a couple of mall-making facts. We'll be right back. Watching Kim Covington, Tracy Forner, and Bill Steffen on WZZM 13 News.
They can cook it, if yeah. you can eat it, eventually they're gonna serve it here and they can serve a lot. 1,000 seats just here in the food court area, plus there are five other restaurants around the Rivertown Crossings Mall. Well, for Rivertown Crossings developers, it was important for them to incorporate a sense of community. And one store really makes that goal a priority. Coming up next, a unique opportunity for local students to show their school spirit and get some real world experience, but first, another mall making fact. Welcome back, everyone. We are live on the road for the grand opening of Rivertown Crossings Mall. You know, it's not unusual seeing teenagers hanging out or working at no. the mall, but it is a sight to see when you see teenagers turning a store into a classroom. That has never been done before in no other city. And students and instructors at Granville, Hudsonville, and Jenison had a lot to cheer about today when they opened a store called School Spirit. Take a look. This is like waiting for a final exam. Scary. <laughs> it's really scary. 9.50. Opening this first of its kind store is a big test. I'm so excited. <laughs> we would like to begin the opening ceremonies for School Spirit. Three, two, one. These people are pouring into a class. The hat my son has been waiting to be able to get. Okay, this doesn't look like a class. Oh, it's a lot funner than class. Do you guys like a water bath? What Katie Bullheis is holding is no book. But this high school senior is learning math, economics. How will you be paying today? And lots of marketing and public relations. You can order something from... Katie is among three students at Granville, Jenison, and Hudsonville who will earn credit and six bucks an hour working at this logo shop owned by those districts. For the past year, 60 other students planned for the store, designed it, and picked out $70,000 worth of merchandise for school spirit. And it doesn't look like moving this will be a problem. You want to keep this or you want it in the bag? Katie just finished the test and the grades are in. There's nothing less than an A for her. And this A may have been one of the most difficult to earn. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. And the school districts are hoping to make about a 5 to 7 percent profit. All that money goes back to those three school districts. And they're going to have a lot of fun in this shop. Nothing like real life lessons, yeah. especially in this great mall. Uh -huh. Well, we have a lot more coming up from the grand opening of Rivertown Crossings Mall, including another peek at our 13 on target forecast. from our tower cam here at Rivertown Crossings Mall. As you can see, the turnout for the grand opening, pretty overwhelming. Yeah. Much more, I think, than they anticipated, and they anticipated a lot. If you're coming out today, make sure you give yourself a little extra drive and parking time. That's right. All those cars brought in a whole lot of people. You know, Bill Seven probably tried to talk to all of them. He probably knows most <laughs> you know, of them. He talks to most of them, <laughs> especially the kids. He yeah. loves kids. Right now, he's on the lower level of this two-level mall. He has the details of our 13 on-target forecast. Bill? Well, Tracy, I got a big crowd here. Everybody is really excited about being here. How many of you saw snow this morning? I did. Oh! All right, I got a riddle for you. Where does a meteorologist put his money where it's when it snows? Everybody know? In a snowbank. She's got it right there. I'll give you a sticker afterwards for that. Hey, I how many of you want it to snow more? Me. 
How many of you want to get out of school? Oh, all right. Well, I tell you what, we'll have that for you on Saturday. You can get out of school on Saturday. Hey, we're having a great time here at the mall. There is so much to do, over 100 stores to explore right here. And I tell you, it was a cold start to the day. Is this chilly air going to stick around? Let's take a look at our weather. First of all, our target town of the day. Every day we highlight a town here in West Michigan. Lo and behold, our town of the day is Granville, where we are right now. Of course, Rivertown Crossing, easy to get to from the 44th Street exit or coming down Wilson Drive right here into the uh, so southern uh, section of Granville. Weather-wise, well, it was c cold out there today, November. Temperatures now only in the mid-30s, and that's only the half of the story because uh, that cold wind is making it feel much colder than that. Our wind chill temperatures today have been running about 15 to 20. It is indeed very, very cold. We had lots of clouds over us today, courtesy of Lake Michigan. If the lake weren't there, we would have become sunny today, but uh, that lake produced enough cloud cover that uh, we were stuck under the clouds, but those clouds will be breaking up here overnight tonight. We should see a pretty good day tomorrow. We got high pressure located off to the south of us, and that's going to finally push the clouds away and bring us a warmer flow of air from the southwest out ahead of the next cold front, and that's going to boost temperatures by a good 10 degrees tomorrow. It won't be anywhere near as cold as it has been here during the day today. So let's check the details of our forecast. We should be partly cloudy overnight tonight with low temperature down around 28. During the day tomorrow, look for lots of sunshine. Should be a great day to be outdoors. Look at that high temperature back up into the mid-50s here come tomorrow. Winds will be coming at you out of the southwest. For Friday, warmer still, all the way up to 62 degrees. It will be just a touch cooler than that near Lake Michigan. Our seven-day forecast, look at this. We're going to be back up into the 50s here, so milder weather. And look at this. November is usually one of our cloudier months. We're going to be seeing a fair amount of sunshine around here over the next six days or so. Target-wise, not too bad this week. We had a bullseye yesterday. How do we do today? We'll check that out for you at 6 o'clock. Hey, everybody, wave. You're all on TV. We're having fun here at Rivertown Crossings. All right, thanks a lot, Bill. And we'll be right back. Can you believe it? We're out of time. Already. Well, yeah, thanks for joining us live on the road inside of Rivertown Crossing Mall. Lee and Juliet are up next at 6. We will have more coverage here at the grand opening. Don't go away. Well, millions of people will flock there during the next year. It's not a church, and it's not an arena. It is Kent County's new Rivertown Crossings Mall. The mall is located at Rivertown Parkway and Wilson. That's just east of I-196 in Granville. Construction began almost two years ago, and today the doors opened. At 9.30 this morning, shoppers got to experience West Michigan's largest shopping center. Most of the 125 stores are now open. And as you can see, the mall was packed when it opened this morning. And now we're going to take a look at a live picture from inside the mall. And as you can see, it's still pretty crowded there tonight as well. So what do people think about this new option in shopping here in West Michigan? Catherine Barrett begins our team coverage now. She caught up with one of the first shoppers to step inside the new mall. Karen Vanderveld, her mom Betty, and 11-week-old son Noah were among the hordes of people who lined up early this morning to get a first peek at the mall. They were in line by about 7.30 for a two-hour wait to get inside. <laughs> Karen usually does her shopping at Woodland or West Shore malls until now. This is huge. This is nice. It's only 10 minutes from my house, so... Very convenient. Yes. Oh, this is cool. While her initial plan was just to look around and get a lay of the land, Karen couldn't resist spending a little money. That is, of course, what mall folks are hoping will happen today. Roller-friendly elevators. Heck yeah. Karen was never among those who opposed the mall coming to Granville. She sees it as good for the community. I don't think there should have been any controversy. This is going to bring a lot of business to Granville. Granville's growing anyway, so... I don't know. I think it's. I think it'll be good for Granville. As if today's crowds were not enough, Karen plans to be back here on Saturday for another dose of shopping. In the meantime, little Noah is oblivious to all his firsts today, even his first ride on a carousel. In Granville, Catherine Barrent, WZZM 13 News.
Uh, well, the mall is open from 10 until 9, Monday through Saturday, and then from 11 until 6 o'clock on Sunday. Lee. Well, the thousands of shoppers inside the new mall today first had to, of course, find a place to park outside. And our team coverage continues with Christine Haverly outside, live in the parking lot of Rivertown Crossings. Christine, how's it going out there? Well, not so bad. Pretty smoothly, um, Lee. They've got a pretty good plan in place out here. So what could have been a big problem, potentially, really isn't so bad. If we take a look at the tower cam shot, though, you can see that a lot of the parking spaces are filling up. And that's because uh, the people getting out of work are arriving now. So people are going to have some hunting to do, just like they did this morning. Mall security had all that they could do to keep traffic flowing smoothly. Even with nearly 7,000 spaces available, some cars got backed up, so some customers had to wa walk a bit <clears throat> in the cold. Others just waited patiently. Yeah, she needs it. She's got her kid in the car, so she's probably anxious to get it. The engineers who uh, manufactured this seem to have done a good job so far, so um, we got a lot of help out here from the department and uh, things have been really good. Now Granville police and mall security are roving around to help out if needed and you know what's made this go really smoothly is that people aren't staying very long so when they leave other people have a chance at their parking space. We'll see how it goes tonight though. I can imagine. However, there's got to be some serious shoppers who've been there all day, probably. <laughs> there are. All right, Christine, thanks very much. Well, Bill, credit card Stefan is at the <laughs> Rivertown Crossings Mall with a final look at the forecast. Bill? Oh, Lee, I've got so many of my friends here. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah! How many of you think this is the best mall you've ever been to? Hey, they are excited here. If you're coming out to the mall or anywhere else around West Michigan tonight, it's going to be a cold one. Look for temperatures to dip down to around 32 to 34. Breezy and cold. Wind chills around 15 to 20. Bundle up. The good news is some sunshine's coming up for tomorrow and for Friday. Get out and enjoy right on through the weekend. The weather's looking fantastic. Got a wave. Okay. All right. Thanks very much, Bill. And coming up tonight, 12. Red Wings and Pistons. And thank you for joining us for WZZM 13 News at 6. ABC's World News Tonight is next. We'll see you back here at 11. Tonight, we salute third graders at Beach Elementary in Cedar Springs.